I'm here because I enjoyed the conference last year and I think they are going to come up with something new this year. I wanted to know more about intravascular imaging. I want to learn from the masters. This is truly the cutting edge of interventional cardiology. Every year we have more and more speakers from all over the world. These are the best and the brightest who've really taken time out of their schedules to come to New York. We get to immerse ourselves in this kind of environment with the world-renowned physicians. We are learning more and more every year. I'm a cardiac surgeon and as much as I can find out about it and know about it, it's in my best interest and in the interest of patients. <laughs> a wonderful chance for everyone to listen, interact, shape our craft. And people are figuring out what we're doing and that this stuff works, so that's why I'm here to see live cases, find out the latest information. To ultimately give better patient care. What everyone is really looking forward to is the fact that we have really state-of-the-art imaging technology that's being showcased here. This is uh, the fifth annual program that, uh, that St. Francis and Dr. Schlafmans have put together. We see the latest in technology, OCT, IVUS, FFR, all of the newer imaging functional techniques in the cath lab, hands-on workshops. People will actually be able to use the equipment and get a feel for it and learn how to use it. And it's very exciting. Yeah. Yeah. And there's a shelf of calcium by that LED, a huge wedge of calcium there. This is pretty focused. We're a conference that's specifically looking at intravascular imaging and physiology. We're trying to optimize and get precision angioplasty to be routine and standard of care to show participants who come the value of imaging and physiology just as we learned at St. Francis. Right now at St. Francis, 84% of the patients who have an intervention are guided by imaging. The average is 3 to 15% around the world. So when someone tells you that OCT gives you too much information, it gives you the right amount of information. We're trying to educate people to show them the value of what we do is what they should be doing. This is a very special time. A lot going on with new device that's going to be impacted by the utilization of intravascular imaging and a lot going on on the physiology space also. All of the other courses tend to focus on the interventional techniques, the PCI techniques, the stenting techniques themselves with lip service to imaging and physiology. So we OCT prior to treating this. This is the opposite. This focuses on the importance of imaging and physiology to optimize the interventional procedures in the cath lab. I think it truly highlights how interventional cardiology has changed over the years and St. Francis is on the cutting edge of everything that's necessary to provide an optimal result for our patients. So this one, we, we didn't use IFR, we used RFR, we talked about the... The live uh, cases, I think, add a lot of spice um, to the conference. You know, they, we have a phenomenal panel this year and so it's exciting to do a live case and then have all the feedback from the panel. So Jeff, you want to, to tell them about our peripheral DBs in the corner? It's not as bad as Jeff. Sometimes it changes, you know, the course of the case, but uh, I think also, uh, more importantly, obviously it should be very educational for the audience to see these cases, to see, you know, what we do at San Francis, but also how we think angioplasty should be done these days. And the OCT settled it. We had landed the stent perfectly. There was a good lumen. Over the last five years, the emergence of coronary physiology and co intracoronary imaging has exploded. It has now become an essential tool for anyone treating complex coronary artery disease. It is literally impossible to ignore the evidence base. And this has become the seminal meeting in the field where we've accumulated virtually all the key individuals who are driving the field in one place to exchange ideas, to teach people theory, practical aspects, coupled with clinical cases and live case demonstrations. Most importantly, really focusing on how we can help patients, what tools we have available these days to really achieve the best outcomes. We're trying to optimize and get precision angioplasty to be routine and standard of care. It's providing a safer quality and better outcome for our patients. And I think that as people see what we're actually doing in the labs and how precise this technology is, that they're going to want that for themselves, for their family members. Because certainly now that we, we do this so much, we want it for our family and for our patients.